Here is a contaminated metal etched chamber preparing for a PM. What is your standard operating procedure for cleaning this type of chamber? Does your procedure call for technicians to scrub for hours using Scotch-Brite? Let's first take a look at the contaminant placed inside any critical chamber cleaned using Scotch-Brite. Is this the type of contaminants you want to leave inside your critical chambers that lead to hours of tool downtime trying to recover from a PM? Would you like to learn more about our high precision PM techniques that eliminate the use of Scotch-Brite? while greatly reducing the vast number of fab wipers normally needed to PM a critical chamber. In a small container of DI water, dampen an ultrasolve sponge and proceed to wipe down the metal etch chamber. Allow the water from the ultrasolve sponge to react with the deposition on the chamber. Using the proper technique with our ultrasolve sponge, we are able to remove a majority of the deposition in a safe and timely manner. Continue to rinse off the ultrasolve sponge in a container of DI water. This step will help keep the chamber area moist, as this chamber is normally PM'd at a higher temperature, causing the DI water to evaporate. Continue to rinse off the ultrasolve sponge with DI water as necessary. This is an important cost-effective step as it will allow the technician to perform this portion of our precision PM technique using a single ultrasolve sponge, where normally it would take a vast number of standard fab wipers. In this demonstration, standard fab wipers are placed at the bottom of the chamber to protect it from excessive moisture. FoamTech International has developed a foam pad that will fit perfectly into the center hole, providing an even more effective barrier for moisture. This controlled use of DI water will improve tool recovery time by reducing the amount of outgassing. With this particular technique, two technicians can simultaneously clean separate areas of the etch chamber to greatly increase cleaning efficiency. Ensure to reach all areas of the metal etch chamber, including slit valve, pump port, and view ports. Once you have removed most of the heavy deposition from the etch chamber with the ultrasolve sponge, lightly dampen a 360 diamond scrub pad and proceed to safely remove the remaining stubborn deposition. Be sure to continue unloading deposition from the scrub pad onto the ultrasol sponge. This unloading technique is an important cost-effective step as it allows this portion of the clean to be completed using a single diamond scrub pad. Continue to move on to all other areas of the etch chamber using the same technique. Notice how easily the scrub pad is able to remove the buildup with minimal pressure while not breaking down and leaving metal contaminants behind like using Scotch-Brite. This technique requires using an additional ultrasolve sponge to wipe off deposition scrub loose by the diamond scrub pad. Understand using the technique shown, we are able to PM the entire metal etch chamber in a safe and timely manner using only three ultrasolve sponges and one diamond scrub pad. In preparation for the final wipe down, saturate a mirror wipe wiper with DI water and use in combination with pressurized nitrogen to blow out areas of the chamber where water may have accumulated. This is an important step to help minimize tool recovery time. Ensure to blow out all areas of the etch chamber where water may have accumulated, such as around the e-chuck. It is good practice to replace gloves with a fresh set prior to performing the final white portion of the PM. 
For the final wipe portion, saturate a mirror wipe with DI water and proceed to wipe down all areas of the etched chamber. In addition to the final wipe portion, saturate a mirror swab with DI water and wipe out all the hard to reach areas throughout the etched chamber. Here are some SEM pictures showing the wipeability of a standard fab wiper as compared to mirror wipe. This demonstration shows the mirror wipe was able to remove more contaminant after the standard fab wiper showed the chamber apparently clean. The characteristics of our microfiber wiper are key components to our high precision PM technique that help remove more particles than any standard fab wiper. This is the key factor that will help tool recovery time and improve tool performance. Foamtech International's high precision PM technique allows our customers to PM their etch chambers without using Scotch-Brite. This provides them the opportunity to take advantage of reducing metal contaminants and particles, which reduces tool downtime and improves tool performance.